How's it going everyone? My name is Ryan Connolly and I'm here to give you a brief tutorial with the program Adobe Animate. So I'm relatively new to this program, but I've been playing around with it a lot. So I've got a, enough information um, to help you guys out. So what you're seeing here is me using the brush tool with an opacity of 60% um, and it's a light blue. That's what I like to do my sketches in. Um, and I'm just, I'm just roughing it out, erasing little bits and pieces that I don't like, but this is just to give me an idea on, on how my design will, will end up looking, really. So I'm starting the skateboard here, and, um, I'm just kind of playing around with, uh, how I wanted it to look. Um, but I think it, it looked best like that. And so I pulled up a previous picture of a project that I'd already worked on, um, just so I can grab the colors really easily with the color picker. Um, if you press the um, letter I on your keyboard, you can pick colors um, that are on your screen, which is really handy. And so right here, what I'm doing the outline is, um, I'm using the pencil tool. Um, and I have the thickness set at around seven. Um, and so the pencil tool allows me to move and adjust the lines um, how I want. Uh, they're really flexible and, and that's why I like the pencil tool for, for the outlines. And then once um, the pencils, the, the lines connect, you can then fill it in with color, which is what I'm doing here. I'm, starting to grab the colors from the other um, image and, and just kind of play around with the lines because sometimes they overlap and it's kind of a mess, but um, things are going well so far. Um, and you can see me laying some more lines right here, uh, for example, um, and then deleting them. And that allows me to shade real easily and then just double click on the pencil line um, for me to delete it, it's real, real quick and simple. And now I'm starting on the skateboard and I'm just playing around with the, um, the way I want the wheels. Um, and yeah, just trying to fit it on this little artboard. I, I should have chosen a bigger size, but since I already know the sizing of, of the brushes and the pencils at this um, artboard size, it's, it's a lot easier. I'm working in a 500 by 500 pixel space, but because it's animate, um, the drawings are vector based, uh, which allows me to resize to whatever I want and I won't lose any quality, which is really, really handy um, when you're doing a project for um, a company, which is what this is for. Um, and yeah.